Highland News Midday Update is sponsored by Soldier to Soldier Hawaii Realty. Happy Tuesday, Hawaii. I'm Lindsay Fukano with your Island News Midday Update. New at Midday, lawmakers are hosting a roundtable discussion on the effects of climate change today. And with recent major weather events such as hurricanes, changing trade winds, king tides, well, Congresswoman Colleen Hanabusa says our nation must acknowledge the real and direct impacts of climate change. A roundtable discussion takes place at 1 at 1132 Bishop Street. Also new at midday, the DLNR is hosting a meeting on Nepali coast enforcement and cleanups, which are helping visitors enjoy the park more. And in letters to the DLNR, visitors are encouraging the state to maintain its zero tolerance policy for illegal activity in the park. For the past two years, law enforcement sweeps of the Nepali Coast State Wilderness Park have made for hundreds of arrests and are getting rid of illegal camps. There will be a news conference today at 2 at the Kalani Moku State Office Building, so stay with Island News tonight for more on these meetings. And staying on Kauai today, a high-ranking member of the Kauai Police Department forced to turn in his badge and guns pending an internal investigation. Assistant Chief of Patrol Services Roy Asher has been placed on unpaid leave and temporarily stripped of all police powers. Kauai Police Department officials say details of the investigation are confidential and will not be released while the investigation is ongoing. On Maui, a disruption in water service for Kula residents continues on today and the Department of Water Supply will be doing water line work. Stoppage continues to about 3 in the afternoon. Residents in the Kula Highway area will experience low water pressure to no water service. So contact the DWS office for more information. And as always, don't forget to tune into Island News tonight at 5, 6, and 10 for the very latest on these stories and more. Up next, our Jordan has weather.